Greetings and salutations. This is Mazes Brown once again. And this is yet another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. And in this commentary, I'm going to be talking about going flawless. And by going flawless, I mean owning noobs and getting no deaths in the process. So, some of this information might benefit you. Some of it might not be as easy to comprehend as you might think. Because it's a lot harder to implement this type of gameplay when you're an aggressive player like I normally am. However, it does pay sometimes to be passive in this game. And it all starts out with the loadout you're using, the perks that you're using, and the strike package that you choose too. Um, so in this particular gameplay I'm using my UMP45 with the suppressor and the kick proficiency. And for my secondary I'm using the USP45 with the suppressor as well. And for my perks I'm using Scavenger Pro, Assassin Pro, and Dead Silence Pro. And for my strike package, I'm using the support strike package so that I will not have to worry about not dying necessarily. And actually, believe it or not, if you keep that concept in the back of your head, you will actually have better matches than if you are telling yourself, I'm going to get a Moab, I'm going to go flawless, I'm going to do this and that. And it will actually make you make a mistake if you think that way. So sometimes it's best to to pick some type of strike package that will actually make you slow down your gameplay versus making you more aggressive like the, the assault strike package normally makes you play. So even, you know, the um, if you're trying to get a MOAB, of course I would definitely recommend using the specialist strike package but you can also get a MOAB by using the support strike package so keep in mind that you want to pick your battles when you're trying to go forward and as you can see here instead of me charging this guy because technically I had him dead to rights but the fact that I was injured as badly as I was in that particular exchange, it, 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 it forces you to back away from the, the fight a little bit. Because even if you get those few shots off to kill him, odds are the time that you spent trying to kill him will be the exact time that it takes the, the enemy team to catch up to the skull and actually kill you so sometimes being passive and letting your teammates take the kills instead of you trying to be aggressive and pick them up yourself will help you not die so it's it's a lot harder to play that way but if you force yourself to play that way you'll find yourself with a very clean rap sheet at the end of the match so keep that in mind another thing you saw was that Picking your targets and determining which one is a um, a bigger threat than another is a huge part of going flawless in a match. As you saw the guy that um, called the assault drone a little while back there, he was obviously not he he was not there because he was controlling his assault drone. He had just deployed it, so he could not see me. Are coming around the corner so instead of destroying the assault drone that actually would give me points towards my next point streak I shot him and then left the area and didn't touch the assault drone that is a huge huge part of not dying because of the fact that if I were to destroy his this assault drone first he would then immediately put up a defensive maneuver and shoot at me 
if I shoot at him and not destroy his assault drone, he won't even really worry about that because he's still concentrating on getting kills with the assault drone. So sometimes you may have to make sure that you pick your battles in that aspect. Um, there will be some instances in a match where you will almost die. Or you'll get a lot of hit markers like I am right here. But sometimes instead of being aggressive and me pushing up like I was really contemplating, I just left. I left. I had no backup from my teammates, so I decided that it was best to just leave the area and, and you know, just count my losses and go for other kills elsewhere. So keep in mind that if you don't get the kill right away, as frustrating as hit markers are in Modern Warfare 3, just keep in mind that you will always get an opportunity, just like I just did right there where you'll run into somebody who is just not paying attention and you'll take them out. Another big tip that I can give you is keep away from your teammates as much as you can and back them up from their blind side. You're still being a team player, by the way, by playing like this. I'm not saying be a lone wolf and camp in a corner and ambush an enemy by having them run past your corner. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is cover their flank. As you can see here, I was all the way in the back portion of the map where the enemy was spawning and my teammates were on the other side. So if you pick them off from their blind side, odds are they're going to run right into your teammates and then your team will win. So those are you know, some of the tips and a little bit of the advice that I'd give to you guys to go flawless and I hope that this helped. Um, subscribe if you'd like and until next time this is Maze's Realm. I'm out.